Hi Gemini, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love bite. Gems, these are general collective readings, right? Will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's see what message wants to show through for my Gemini gang today. Uh, of course, welcome back all my subscribers. Thank you for being here. And Gemini, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. So Gemini, what my deck? Somebody is wanting to go towards their happiness. The sun card. There is a bit of fear as well. Maybe there's some secret. Somebody wasn't... Uh, deciding to between two options and maybe you guys have had a tower moment because of that somebody is heavily thinking now they are thinking they are stuck they are trying to get a different perspective maybe wondering how to heal this heartbreak return back to their person let's see i'm going to first um, start with the dialogue message cards gemini let's uh, see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then i'm going to clarify these cards so Gemini and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Gemini and their person. Gemini and their person. Thank you. I'm going to take a few more Gemini from another deck. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, Gemini, um, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Gemini and their person. Let's take a few more from here, Gems. Gemini and that person. Okay. Good to go, Gems. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, I've not given up on you, even though it may seem like it. See, somebody wants to return. They're trying to figure out how to heal the broken heart. And even though, I mean, because they're feeling so stuck um, and scared, I guess, it may seem like, hey, they're not doing anything. But one person is saying this, I haven't given up on you, even though it might seem like it. I feel like I've been fighting for your life, for you not only to stay alive, but for you to be your authentic self and to thrive. I want to see you embrace your dreams and fly free from everything that's been holding you back. I didn't know what love was until our fated meeting. I pray that God will unite us soon because you are my destiny. I love you till the end of times. I can't bear the thought of you being with someone else. I get so jealous. I just want you to be mine. I write you messages and then I delete them because I just don't know what to say. I'm so sorry because I know that my silence is hurting you. I'm healing and trying to find my strength to be honest with you about how I truly feel. I know that I shouldn't compare others to you, but I just can't help it. You're a tough act to follow and absolutely no one measures up. No matter what's happened between the two of us, you are still the one. I hate that your rejection can still trigger a tendency for me to spiral out of control with unhealthy and addictive behaviors. I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you as my complete and whole self. I wish you can understand that it was a difficult decision for me. In fact, I still struggle with it. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions. Okay, Gems, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading. Of course, with an angel blessing card first. Let's see what my angels have for you as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message today. Optimism. Well, the only way I think uh, to get this connection back would be with a little bit of optimism. Somebody has a fear of rejection now. They feel they've already been released. Uh, they do want to come back. 
okay so be optimistic that's all i can understand you would know your own situation as to what this card means for you uh, gemini but i'm going to concentrate now on the reading and see what it wants to say to us so what's the moon card spirit for gemini today what's the moon card I think uh, there were secrets in this connection at one point. One person could have gotten exhausted, got, got, could have gotten tired, uh, maybe wanted their person to take responsibility of the connection, but there could have been a third party. Maybe, maybe you know, somebody couldn't choose to, between two people or, uh, that, you know, uh, or didn't, or maybe didn't want to maybe didn't want to could have said it that i'm not interested i don't want to make a choice and one person said okay then th in that case this doesn't make me happy i'm not interested being you know in a connection which uh, doesn't give me victory doesn't make me feel celebrated or you know may give make me feel that yes this is it uh, maybe you guys had a tower moment what's this tower spirit yeah the tower was that one person kind of uh, turned their back on uh, somebody who was more head over heart, I guess, be trying to be more logical than actually take responsibility, choose a direction, choose a Perth person. Uh, one person, the other person could have gotten really exhausted of this and tired and said, enough is enough. I'm turning my back on this connection and this could have been the disruption of this connection because there was no commitment offered, no long term happiness offered, right? So now, Spirit, what's the Three of Swords in reverse? Three of Swords in reverse. One more. I think somebody is healing now. Healing from, yeah, this broken heart. Somebody is healing from this broken heart now, saying, hey, this baggage was too much for me to carry. I was carrying all the weight of this connection. I, I'm kind of pulling my energy back and I'm pushing you out because you're not making a choice, you're not making a decision. If you're go going to always use your analytical brain instead of your heart, then I can't be doing all the work. I'm, I'm dropping this as well and uh, may have gone off to heal themselves. So spirit hanged man now, what's the hanged man? Uh, see somebody is now now stressed out yeah now this other person who never made the choice earlier now is totally stressed out why because now they feel that this chance to have a stable new beginning now maybe they've chosen i don't know but they they do realize seeing this from from their partner's perspective that they made a very unwise and foolish choice by not offering you know something stable i have a feeling the whoever this king of swords is they want to come back now they want to come back. So what's the Six of Cups spirit? Six of Cups. This person has... Oh, they fear they'll be rejected now because they they know they've been very selfish in the past, very self-centered, very attention-seeking. Attention mm, they may even have gotten caught, I don't know, because they, they, they were sitting in this very, very, uh, you know, I don't know how to explain this is like a statue uh, immovable basically uh, maybe this kind of behavior caught up with them and now they feel well it backfired on me because now my person sees me as this selfish self-centered so as much as they want to come back there is a fear of rejection now what's this uh, knight of cups in reverse knight of cups in reverse yeah See, they know. The minute I go towards them, the Queen of Swords will be sitting there with her sword held high and just saying, Oh, so you've come back now. What, what, what are you here for? And may just reject this offer. So that's their worry. Uh, four of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Pentacles. They're fine. <laughs> they're gathering their courage. They're gathering their courage to, well, say something, um, open up but um, they are fearing a conflict or maybe they want to talk about the conflict i don't know they're gathering up their courage to come and talk now to the person who's taken their power back about how unhappy they are without them what's the wheel of fortune spirit what's the wheel of fortune oh they're hoping they're wishing they're hoping after this uh, one second 
yeah they are so afraid my god look at the fear look at the look at the fear here sleepless nights tension uh, they're still hoping things can turn around what this person really wants is now to come forward with the uh, with commitment they they want this love back they want the queen of cups back because now things could be really 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 stagnant between the two of you right i think somebody is recognized where their happiness is is and they want the ten of cups now so let's see uh, spirit what's the sun card why is it the overall energy for gemini's reading today and by the way happy birthday once again gems uh, what's the sun card what's the sun card they're planning they're planning what are they planning yeah they are they are thinking they are planning how to end the conflict the drama that's happened that broke you guys off i don't think this person wants to be a player anymore but they don't want to end this connection either maybe in the past they were they were undecided right but now this sudden realization has come to them to say hey i don't want to be be a player i don't want to lose my person this is the person that makes me happy give me one more for the sun card sun card after after they've been released that's the problem they've been released yeah they've been released they're manifesting their person back they want to open up because now they see the per the queen of swords as single abundant beautiful and seeing them from a distance they realize what they've lost so what spirit is actually trying to say is you know instead of feeling that you may get rejected and you know you will not be entertained or you'll be cut off well be optimistic and take this chance because the wheel of fortune is upright at the moment for you things can go in your favor Well, that's the message for today. Gems, hope it worked for you. Let me know. Till love and light. Take care. Namaste.